Hello guys! Welcome back to our G Classroom. So for today, we are going to discuss the preschooler. So for the definition, the preschooler is the child from 3 to 6 years of age. For the psychosocial stage, according to Eric Erickson, the stage for preschooler is initiative versus guilt versus guilt. So, Eric Erickson's initiative versus guilt is the third stage of the psychosocial development theory. This stage occurs during the preschool years, between the ages of 3 and 5. During the initiative versus guilt stage, children begin to assert their power and control over the world through directing play and other social interaction. Children need to begin asserting control, just like their aggressiveness, and power over environment by taking initiative, by planning activities, accomplishing tasks, and facing challenges. In this stage, it is important for caregivers to encourage exploration and to help children make appropriate choices. Caregivers who are discouraging or dismissing may cause children to feel ashamed of themselves and become overly dependent upon the help of others. Children begin to plan activities, make up games, and initiate activities with others. If given this opportunity, children develop a sense of initiative and feel secure in their ability to lead others and make decisions. So that is for initiative. Conversely, if this tendency is squelched, either through criticism or control, children develop a sense of guilt. The child will will often overstep the mark in his forcefulness. And the danger is that the parents will tend to punish the child and restrict his initiatives too much. It is at this stage that the child will begin to ask many questions as his thirst for knowledge grows. If the parents treat the child's questions as trivial, a nuisance or embarrassing or other aspects of their behavior as threatening, then the child may have feeling of guilt for, for being a nuisance. Too much guilt can make the child slow to interact with others and may inhibit their creativity. So that is for the guilt. Some guilt is, of course, necessary. Otherwise, the child would not know how to exercise self-control or have a conscience. A healthy balance between initiative and guilt is important, and success in this stage will lead to the virtue of purpose, while failure results in a sense of guilt. So it is also at this stage of uh, psychosocial uh, that the child imitates adult and playmates. They show affection for familiar playmates and can take uh, turns in games, understand mind, his, hers. So that is... Uh, the possessive noun, so something like that. So the next is the Freud psychosexual stage. So Freud psychosexual stage refers to the phallic stage. So during the phallic stage, the primary focus of libido is on the genitals. At this stage, children also begin to discover the differences between males and females. Freud also believed that boys begin to view their fathers as rival for the mother's affections. The Oedipus complex uh, 
describes these feelings of wanting to possess the mother and the desire to replace the father. So, that is for the Oedipus complex, where mom and son uh, have the attachment. However, the child also fears that he will be punished by the father for these feelings. So, a fear Freud term termed as castration anxiety. So, that is castration anxiety. So, the term Electra complex has been used to describe a similar set of feelings experienced by young girls. Freud, however, believed that girls instead experience penis envy. So, penis envy. So, eventually, the child begins to dis- uh, the child begins to identify with the same sex parent as a means of vic- vicariously possessing the other parent. Four girls, however, believed uh, that penis envy was never fully resolved and that all women remain some, somewhat fixated on this. So, uh, that's it. And... Since this is a genital stage or in the phallic stage, the erogenous zone or the, the focus of the libido is on genitals and somehow the children under this stage are doing the masturbation. So what could we do if we see a child masturbating? So we need to provide them with privacy by telling them that uh, they should not hold it in the the public places and like that. So later we will discuss if what should we do further when the child masturbates. So the next one or the third one is the cognitive stage according to PJ. So according to PJ, the stage 2 is the perceptual intuitive stage of the pre-operational thought period. So, reasons can be given for beliefs and actions but still considered pre-logical and termed as pre-operational intuitive thinking. So, according to PJ, intuitive thought is uh, the sub-stage, the sub-stage of uh, pre-operational thought period and this occurs between about the ages of four and seven children tend to become very curious and ask many questions beginning the use of primitive reasoning there is an emergence in the interest of reasoning and wanting to know why things are the way they are so that's why they call it, or PJ called it, the intuitive substage. Because children realize they have a vast amount of knowledge, but they are unaware of how they acquired it. So we mentioned earlier that the pre-operational stage, uh, on the first one, we have here a the preconceptual stage of thinking. So that is the first one. Children have the certain understanding of class membership and can divide their internal representations into classes. However, they cannot differentiate between members of the class. So if they see two different members of the class at different times, they believe them to be the same uh, object. So, for example, a famous eg- uh, example of this is seen in the sto- story of PJ, tells of his son who sees a snail and then a few meters along the foot path, uh, the foot path sees another snail and yet believes it to be the same snail. So, in this stage, children think 
transduct transductively as opposed to either deductively or inductively in intuitive thinking which is the substage of the pre-operational thought period Intuitive thinking is a concept applicable to the last half of the pre-operational stage. As we said, it is from seven to it is from four to seven years. In this stage, children are thinking more logically than they were before. Had although the logic uh, they follow is a little faulty. A good example of this is that the children in this period of development cannot yet conserve so what do you mean by conserve conservation is the awareness that altering substances appearance does not change its basic properties so their their ideas relating to class memberships are also blossoming quite well however they have trouble understanding that classes can themselves belong to a bigger organization if given a picture of oranges and apples in which there were seven apples and three oranges the the pre-operational child in the second stage or the intuitive stage will say that there are more apples than there are pieces of fruit even though this number equals 10 so another example for intuitive uh, thinking or under the pre-operational uh, period is that uh, when we transfer the fluid in the beaker so there are two beakers with the equal amount of water and then the other beaker is transferred to the tall beaker or to the tall container so the fluid there or the water from the ordinary level of beaker to the tall beaker that will be represented or that will be interpreted by the preschooler as uh, large in volume compared to the ordinary beaker although if we are going to think of it they have this the equal amount of water so that is for the uh, cognitive stage the intuitive stage now let's move on to the play so in terms of play we have associative or cooperative play and we have also age appropriate toys so number one for play is housekeeping toys so those are ha housekeeping toys so broom broomstick anything that uh, can be used as a in housekeeping number two is playground equipment just like swing seesaw slide number three tricycles and number four watercolors finger paints and clay so we all know that uh, in this stage in preschooler if we are going to relate it with the psychosocial stage of Erickson, central to this stage is play. Play, as it provides children with the opportunity to explore their interpersonal skills through initiating activities. So, play and imagination takes on an important role at this stage. Ch children have their sense of initiative reinforced by being given the freedom and encouragement to play. When efforts to engage in physical and imaginative play are stifled by caregivers, children begin to feel that their self-initiated efforts are a source of embarrassment. So success in this stage leads to a sense of purpose, as we mentioned, while failure results in a sense of guilt. Um, in, the, in the play, so we mentioned that there are associative play, 
which are uh, by group and without rules. They also uh, playing through imitation and as well as we need to stimulate or implement the creativity of the child. So, so that must be implemented. Um, imagination, just like fantasy play, imaginary friend. So we need to acknowledge them. And uh, we can also let them play the toys such as jigsaw puzzle, coloring book, and doll. So those are the plays that can be uh, administered or can be done by the preschooler. So for number five, picture coloring books. So the, that is one of the plays. Materials for cutting, pasting. Number seven, simple jigsaw puzzle. And we have here the greatest fear. So they are fear of castration. So um, they are afraid of castration or something that body mutilation. Body mutilation. So just like a cut injury or body injury. So those are the castration fear. So, we have also fear of the dark. So, this is the stage where the preschooler uh, is afraid of the dark. Then, we have also the behavior traits of, of a child. So, they love to watch adults and imitate their behavior. They are very creative and curious. That is why their favorite word is why. And then, um, imaginary playmates are common. So, imaginary playmate. They love to tell lies and brag or boast in order to impress others. So, inventing stories is normal for the preschooler, actually. And we need also to recognize that they have a language uh, difficulty just like uh, uh, broken fluency um, let's say in Tagalog that is utal or bulol so that is broken fluency because in the language development of a preschooler if the child uh, is in the four years of age uh, he can speak 1,500 words and when the child reaches 5 years of age he can speak 2,100 words so so that's it so they enjoy offensive language if you can hear a child saying that so they enjoy that but we need to correct that one as well that it should not be uh, practiced by the child, especially those offensive language. And then letter, that is E. For the F, age of sibling rivalry. So, because the preschooler has the understanding already. So, for the newly born child, um... There is what we call uh, a little bit of jealousy. No? So the preschooler might be jealous to a newly born child or, or his sibling. So we have also at this stage the Oedipal complex and Electra complex. So Oedipal complex is the same as Oedipus complex. So... Uh, which we discussed earlier. For letter G, questions about sex should be answered honestly at the level of their own understanding. So, if they have questions or queries pertaining to their sexuality, so we should uh, answer them appropriately. Letter H, masturbation may be seen in some, so do not make fuss about it. 
or punish the child. So don't do it. Just give toys to play with the to play with as a substitute. So we divert the attention of the child. We have also physical development. So for three years of age, they can do pedal strike, walks uh, backwards, climbs stairs, uses scissors, and helps dress himself. So that is for three years of age. For four years of age, they can climb and jumps well, uses alternate steps when climbing stairs, they throws ball overhand so they can throw the ball overhand and then they can brush brush their teeth for five years of age they can run and hope hops well uh, jumps rope skips balances on one foot uh, for eight seconds and then they can tire they tie their shoelace so that's the end of our presentation so i hope that you learned something about the preschooler so thank you so much for listening and watching until next time bye <music>